The religious sect Kingdom of Jesus Christ claims the Philippine National Police is not telling the truth when it said it carried out a lawful operation during the delivery of arrest warrants for Apollo Kibuloy and others in Davao City on June 10. In a statement, the religious sect, which was founded by Kibuloy, says hundreds of PNP members allegedly heavily armed attacked their compounds in Davao City with unnecessary and unrestrained force. The PNP previously said they stormed the KJC compound because they were hit by a water cannon. But the Kingdom of Jesus Christ says the PNP's claim is false, citing a CCTV footage which supposedly shows that the water cannon was only used when the soldiers forced their way into the compound. The religious sect also says the PNP members continued their operation despite asking them to wait for the group's lawyers and even climbed up a ladder at the gate and jumped into the compound. KJC also claims that a number of missionaries sustained injuries after the PNP's violent entry, including a woman who got kicked in her face by a military boot. KJC says two other male missionaries also sustained injuries in their shoulders and arms. Inquirer.net has sought the side of PNP about KJC's statement, but it has yet to respond. In a previous statement, the PNP maintained that the June 10 law enforcement operation against Kibuloy and his subordinates in Davao City was conducted in strict compliance with its legal security protocols. On April 3, a Davao Regional Trial Court ordered the arrest of Kibuloy and his men, namely Crescente Canada, Pauline Canada, Ingrid Canada, Sylvia Camanes, and Jacqueline Roy over charges of violating Republic Act No. 7610 or the Anti-Child Abuse Law specifically the provision on sexual abuse of minors and maltreatment.